The Astaroth raid has arrived with the X-Death, BT, and the rerun of his LD. The boss here is very similar to X-Death's Lost Chapter boss, except they seem to have eliminated some of the more popular cheese strategies. Mainly the paralysis trick. Before, you could stun these things and that would completely nullify their break counter. They just wouldn't get into that stance because they'd be stunned. But they got rid of that. The stun does not do anything. So you gotta deal with the break counter one way or the other. There's a, there's a few characters out there who can deal with it really well. And Noctis in particular I, is my personal favorite because his follow-up attack on his burst effect does not trigger the break counter which means you can time it to where Noctis breaks them every time. And the timing isn't even difficult. They recover every other turn. So really, as long as you just attack the one with the yellow aura every other turn, Noctis will break it before his actual turn comes up. Excuse me, before the boss's turn comes up. You know what I'm trying to say. So they just never counter you. The orb... The orb, is, the orb is basically like bring X death or bring an X death friend. That's basically the orb. I mean, there's other ways around it. It's going to be a lot more difficult though, where you can inflict two debuffs per turn. That kind of keeps the orb at bay, but barely. If you HP sap them, it refills the orb back to ten, which is the max. And of course, the only character who can HP sap is X death. So <laughs> you better bring an X death friend. If you want to make your life a lot more, uh, <laughs> a lot easier. Okay, you gotta look at Eldnar. You have to. Because we don't need you swinging. Alright, so we pop this LD. It won't quite break. But you will. Okay. So now we just have to make sure every other turn we attack him. It has to be this way. So right now, he's gonna recover after Terra attacks. Watch. So check this out. We melt down. There's the recovery. Noctis says no. And no counters. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now might be as good a time as any to get Kurasame up. I was waiting just because of the... I wanted to do it right away, but I was waiting because of the timing with this break counter stuff. So this way... Knock this can LD again. He'll recover and get broken. Awesome. Eldnarsh is only here to shut them down for a split second, and then he's getting the hell out of here. We're bringing X Death in. To pull off the zero turns, I had to bring X Death in on Eldnarsh's free turn. So, because for those of you who don't know, if you bring in your uh, your friend support on the Eldnarsh free warp turn, it, one, will add an extra turn to your friend support, so you can use them for six turns instead of five, and two, their turn will add to the turn count. But don't take my word for it. See for yourself. So you're too scared to move? I was gonna use the gold Celeste call, but... That would have been one too many debuffs, and then we wouldn't have had any room for Jack. So, not worth it. I would love the XFBT. I really would, but... And I have 50 tokens, but those have Zidane's name on it. Like, 100%. He's getting those tokens. So, sorry, XDeath, but I'm gonna have to pass. Okay, we have a couple turns of Warp Step left. So, before we start spamming, we can make use of that. So we'll attack you. I know you were only at one stack, but hey, it's free damage anyways. What does it matter? Okay, now if we want to keep this at zero, we have to LD because X-Death does not have Warp Step on. He just got here. So we gotta put this on. One of the trickier parts about this was keeping their damage relatively even. This is why at the very beginning of this, in Noctis' burst, I just went ham on the one on the left. Because I knew the one on the right was going to get the break counter. Meaning that we're going to be targeting him for the majority of the fight anyway. So we need to do some damage to the left one while we still can. 
But as of right now, I think we've done a good job. Look, 68 and 68. Okay, so you have one more turn of warp step. Well, two. And now you just have one, but now is as good a time as any to spam. In fact, we have to spam right now with Terra, because as you can see, Noxious has one turn left on that burst effect. That needs to be up for the majority of the fight to deal with this break counter, if you're going to run with this strategy. I'm seeing Gallop is pretty popular here, too, because uh, I haven't done a whole lot of research, but I've just seen some people talking in Discord and stuff, but apparently off-turn damage in general is just really good here. I guess it just doesn't trigger the break counter, which is amazing. So Gallop seems to be a, a pretty popular choice for that reason. But I want to look around at like some more comps just to see what other people did. See, this timing is weird. I want to launch the one on the left so bad, but X-Death is not in the rotation. So, we're not going to do that. But that's okay, because A needs to be worn down a little bit more anyways. So we'll just bring him the Meteor Shower. Because when we get that launch, it's going to... It's gonna even out. This X Death Burst Effect, I haven't talked enough about this, but as you can see, the orb is completely being handled. Because with most with most saps, they have to take a turn for it to take effect, but not the X Death Burst. Which means X Death can be good for you know off-turn counter setups or rushdown setups. He's good for either one. is fantastic if you ask me. I'm a big fan. Okay. Now we can break that one on the left and even this up a little bit because we got 47 and 40. We'll dump all this. And we'll get a follow-up. That's much better. Much better. Two LDs left on Terra. So we're going to use them all before we summon. And when we're in that summon, that one with the aura has got to die. Because we're going to lose that Noctis Burst effect. And it's not going to be good. But if he's dead, it won't be a problem. Because the one on the left is really... He's not dangerous right now. It's just this one. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just alternating every other turn. And you know what? It's good to get in the habit of doing that anyway. Because I have noticed a lot of times... And I'm not talking shit. I'm, I'm just trying to help, okay? Like, sometimes I'll try to help people with, like, Luthenias and stuff. And, like, discords and whatnot. And something I have to keep telling people is to stop just hammering away at one target. I've seen people do that a lot. Where, they're like, that my damage output isn't, isn't there, blah, 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 all this stuff. And then I look at the run and it's, like, one target has, like... 50%, the other one has like 70%. If they're throwing two targets at you, try to wear them down as evenly as possible. 99% of the time, that's what you want to do. And, and on the rarest of occasions, do you want to just hard focus one of them. At least in my opinion. Especially for a fight like this, for a strategy like this, yeah, you definitely want to trade them back and forth. But I guess to, it just kind of, because I had just been so used to doing that, that, I don't know, it didn't really... It didn't bother me as much, because I was already used to, okay, keep the damage as even as possible. That's just generally what you want to do. 19 and 16. Okay, so Terra, you got to use two C65s, because that will also trigger the sap. Every little bit helps. There we go. I like the sound that the Void makes. I imagine that the rest of the villains in the Spiritus King are sick to death of X-Death talking about the Void. You know that the rest of the villains talk shit about him. With how much this dude brings up Void. Like, I, I always have this image in my head of like, of like, say X-Death is in the middle of a conversation with somebody, and there's other villains kind of behind him just kind of talking shit. Like, say, say, say X-Death's trying to talk to like Goldbys or something. I always have this weird image of, like, Kafka and Kuja, or, or some people, like, like, off in the distance, just kind of like, oh, look, this motherfucker, he's gonna, I, I bet you ten bucks he's gonna say Void again, guaranteed, guaranteed he's gonna say Void, I'll bet you ten gil. Like, I don't know, I always just have that image, 
Because he says he talks about it all the time. This dude loves the void. To no one's surprise. Okay. This should kill the one on the right there. Perfect. With refreshed warp steps, this is in the bag. And could we ask for a better finish? The Grand Cross. Awesome. Very curious to see what you guys did for this stage, because this one... If you're not prepared, you don't know how to approach it, this one can give people some problems. I'm already seeing people that are like, what do I do? So I'm curious what everyone else has done. All right, thank you for watching.